that John 6, 27 through 29. He sealed Jesus. Jesus is sealed. If you believe, he'll seal you with his name in your forehead. That means you have the light and the life. Right? After you believe, you were sealed with, look, the Holy Spirit of promise. He breathed on them. Said, believe, receive ye the Holy Ghost. That's the new creation. Remember the old creation? He breathed into Adam. He became a living soul. He was earthly. He had not eaten from the tree of life. Right? He was supposed to choose which way to go. And he did. Right? Him and uh, Eve, him and Eve, his wife, eventually chose that independent life. The son of God life is the dependent life. Now we have to depend on God, our Father. Right? That's that garden of eating life. Even though Adam and Eve tasted it, they had a taste of that uh, luxury life. They couldn't keep it. They didn't have the strength. The strength is the son of the righteousness. The strength is the righteousness. But what? how do you get the righteous? Obtain the righteous. Mercy. Oh, yeah, that's where we was going. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I forgot about that mercy. Mercy. And that's what uh, they are rejecting. All these who fight against Jesus Christ. You're rejecting the mercy. Isaiah 16, 5. Let's get it. Isaiah 16, 5. You're rejecting the mercy. Remember, he cut us off. All of us are guilty in his sight. That means we're guilty of what? Falling short of the glory. The glory is Jesus Christ, his son. He's giving it to us. A free gift. The free gift of God is his glory. The Holy Ghost is God's glory. You just got to walk. You're creating your own heaven, your own hell. You're creating it. By your faith, you, you, you're entering into the kingdom of God. As Paul said, I'm ready to be off. Time of my departure is at hand. He said, I kept the faith. I, I fought a good fight. I finished the works. You creating it. Where you go for eternity, you have decided that's where you want to go. Let's finish this. Isaiah 16, 5. And in mercy, mercy shall the throne be established. And he shall sit upon it. And truth, who brought truth? John 1, 17, 18. Jesus Christ. Moses brought what? The law of Jesus brought grace and truth. He shall sit upon it in truth. In the tabernacle of David. That's who he came to raise up. The tabernacle of David. That's the 12 tribe. Judging. Right? Righteous judgment. And seeking judgment. Right? Judgment. Right? He brought judgment to the flesh. He condemned what? He brought judgment to the hell, death, the grave. Right? All those things which are contrary to our soul. The Mosaic law, he nailed all that judgment, all that to the cross. Right? Colossians 2, 6 through 15. And righteousness, judgment and righteousness, and the throne and the kingdom is established. By him doing that, right there. That goes to Isaiah 5, 16. Let's get it. Isaiah 5, 16. Now he has to be exalted. Remember he said, if I be lifted up from the earth, I'm going to draw all men unto me. John 12, what is it, 31? I'll draw all men unto me. That's exalted. Jesus said that. Words in red. If I be exalted, I'm going to draw all men unto me. Here's what he's saying likewise. Uh, Isaiah 5, 16. But the Lord of hosts shall be exalted. That's Jesus Christ. We just said it. If I be lifted up from the earth, I will draw men unto me. Philippians 2, 9. Wherefore God has highly exalted him, given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee must bow, things in heaven, things in earth, and things under the earth. But the Lord of hosts shall be exalted, look, in judgment. That's what the cross, that's what Calvary was, judgment. Judgment. He saved us from hell, brought us out of hell, saved us from a horrible pit, brought us out the miry clay. Saved us from us. Saved us from our enemies. Saved us from death. 
destruction. He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. But the Lord of hosts shall be exalted in judgment. Do you believe in God's judgment? Do you believe in Calvary? That by his stripes you were healed. He bore our sickness and disease in his body and his flesh. This is the benefits of, of salvation. Believe in every word of God in judgment. And God that is holy shall be sanctified. Look, y'all, in righteousness. You're supposed to sanctify his name in your righteousness. What by what? If you believe in that cross. That's 1 Corinthians 1.18. For the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness, but unto us with a say, it is the power of God. He delivers us from old creation. The curses of old creation. That we could not be justified under the law of Moses. Acts. Uh, that's Acts. Uh, was it 1338? Let's get it. Acts 13, 38, 39. Be it known unto you, therefore, men and brethren, that through this man is preached unto you the forgiveness of sins, Jesus Christ, and by him all that believe, here it is again, gave he power to become the sons of God, are justified, look, from all things, from which you could not be justified by the law of Moses. That's exceeding the uh, righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees right there. Because they, they were still in that nature. Sinful nature. That's what the law of Moses pointed to, showed us uh, that we are in need of a Savior. Acts 13, 23, that's verse 23. Let's get that verse 23, Acts 13. This is a basic video, y'all. Uh, of this man's seed had God, according to his promise, raised unto Israel, the children of Israel, a Savior, Jesus. Right? Now, what does that mean? That's Romans 1, 3 and 4. Romans 1, 3 and 4. Concerning his son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, which was made of the seed of David according to the flesh that's the Holy Ghost our flesh is the Holy Ghost spoiler in case you didn't know that's a spoiler our flesh is the Holy Ghost the Word of God made flesh right we are new crazy we are uh, of his flesh of his bone of his blood of his spirit now yeah we won and declared to be the Son of God with power according look y'all to the spirit of holiness by the resurrection from the dead so you get holiness and righteousness that's the fruit spirit of holiness by the resurrection from you got to come on up from the dead that means awake out your sleep rise from the dead Christ shall give you what Christ shall give you himself oh it says light king too man well God is light he give you himself. Abraham, you get Abraham's uh, blessing. What is that, Genesis 15-1? Uh, 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 Genesis 15-1. Let's get it. After these things, the word of the Lord came unto Abram in a vision, saying, Fear not, Abram, I am thy shield and thy exceeding great reward. Ain't that what you want? Ain't that what you want? Ain't that what this is all about? Genesis 28, 4. Let's get it. Genesis 28, 4. Genesis 28, 4. And give thee the blessing of Abraham to thee and to thy seed with thee that thou mayest inherit the land Wherein thou art a stranger, that's the earth, which God gave to Abraham. The land where we are stranger is the earth, which God gave to Abraham. Well, King Superman, where did it say God gave the earth to Abraham? Okay, 
Good question, class. Romans 4, 13, right? Romans 4, 13, something like that. For the promise that he should be the heir of the world was not to Abraham or to his seed through the law, law of Moses, but through the look, righteousness of faith. Righteousness of faith, y'all. Righteousness of faith. That's Jesus Christ. You can't separate righteousness from the faith or faith from the righteousness. You can't separate the two. We saw that in uh, Romans 4, 3 and verse 3. For what the scripture, uh, for what said the scripture, Abraham believed God and it was counted unto him for righteousness. Abraham's called the father of faith. Go to verse 20. Romans 4, 20. You can't separate righteousness from the faith or faith from the righteous. He staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief, but will look strong in faith. See that? Giving glory to God. What's man's issue? Falling short of the glory. Now, when you keep the faith, you're giving God the glory. We see it right here. Paul said, I kept the faith. He kept the glory. He kept the glory of God. He didn't fall short of the glory. In fact, the glory was made manifest in him, in Paul. Galatians 2. And uh, what is the last verse, 21? Uh, somewhere in there. Uh, Galatians 2. Is it 2? Galatians 1. Galatians 1. Let's go to Galatians 1, 23, 24. But they heard only that he which persecuted us in time past now preaches the faith. See that? This is Paul. Remember, he used to persecute the church. Right? And, and they heard in times past that he which persecuted us in times past, Paul, now preaches the faith which he once destroyed. And they, look, glorified God in me. That's the faith. God being glorified in you. That is the faith, y'all. That's the fruit. That's the fruit. That he take away our sins. That's how he's glorified in us. Let's get that. That's Isaiah 27. Let's get with it, King Superman. Time running out. You know that. Isaiah 27. And, uh... For time's sake, let's just go on to verse 9. Can we do that? Isaiah 27, 9, for time's sake. By this, therefore, shall the iniquity of Jacob... Y'all know who that is. His name was changed to Israel, right? The iniquity of Jacob be purged, and this is the fruit... Jesus said, I ordain you to bring forth fruit. To take away his sin. That's the fruit, y'all. The sin be removed. When he maketh all the stones of the altar and chalk stones that are beaten asunder and the groves and images that shall not stand up. That goes into the New Testament. We, we kept talking about Romans 11. We might as well get on over there. Romans 11 and uh, 26. Let's go and get it. The fruit is to take away our sins. That's the righteousness and holiness. is in that. Y'all getting this, Clash? Because under the Mosaic law, the sin is not removed. The righteousness is not there yet. Or the holiness. That's not the fruit. You can't bring forth the fruit in the flesh. The fruit is produced what? Through the Spirit. Don't, isn't it not called the fruit of the Spirit? The fruits of the Spirit. Of the Holy Ghost. Romans 11, 26. Let's go there. And so all Israel shall be saved... Right? As it is written, there shall come out of Zion the deliverer and shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob, y'all. From the children of Israel. Ain't nobody else. For this is my covenant. This is the covenant, y'all. Unto them when I shall take away their sins, y'all. He removes the sins with his blood, with his sacrifice, with his resurrection life. We get, a, we get the whole combination meal, man. The whole combination. Death, burial, resurrection, ascension, glorification. 
and as concerning the gospel, they are enemies for your sake, but as touching the election, only the elect understand this, they are beloved. We are the Father's beloved. For the Father's sake, for the, for the gifts and calling of God are without repentance. For as ye in time past have not believed God, yet have now obtained mercy. There it is. Through their unbelief, even so have these also not now believed that through your mercy they also may obtain mercy. For God had concluded them all, look, in unbelief that he may have mercy upon all. That mercy is in the resurrection of Jesus Christ. We read that. Isaiah 16, 5. You got to believe in the resurrection of Jesus Christ. That he raised him from the dead. Now, having done that, we go to uh, check out the uh, real quick Proverbs. Got to really take some shortcuts for time's sake. Proverbs 10, 2. Treasures of wickedness profit nothing, but righteousness, look, delivered from death. This is how bad we need righteousness. And this tells you don't take the Judas purse. Don't take the money and run. Because treasures of wickedness profiteth nothing. But righteousness delivered from death. Death is separation from God. Now let's go to uh, Proverbs 11.4. Right next door. Proverbs 11.4. It says, Riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivered from death. Righteousness delivered from death. Riches profit not in the day of wrath. How many people going after riches right now today? How many people sold Jesus out for riches? Fame, fortune. Riches profit not in the day of wrath. Look, they not thinking about the day of wrath, the day of judgment. But righteousness delivered from, that's how bad we need righteousness. And remember, righteousness come down from above. We covered that, right? Right? And righteousness was only promised to the children of God. Y'all know that. Y'all know that. Righteousness was only promised to the children of God. In fact, we know if we if we go uh, the future is also in the book of uh, the Old Testament. Let's do it. Let's get one in there just in case there's some scoffers in here saying, well, he never showed us. Jeremiah 23, 5. Behold, the days come, said the Lord, that I will raise unto David a look, righteous branch. And we know that's Jesus Christ. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Here it is right here. We reading it, y'all. Matthew 6, 33 is right here. The righteous branch. And a king shall reign and prosper and shall execute judgment and justice. Right? Colossians 4.11. Jesus Christ is called justice. He's our judgment. He brought judgment. That's Isaiah 33.22. Our lawgiver, our king, our judge. Right? He shall save us. Right? Judgment and justice in the earth. That's Calvary, y'all. For Zion. Calvary was only for Zion, Isaiah 33.5. Children of Zion. Who Jesus Christ came to rescue by what? Giving his life a ransom for those who believe. In his days, look, here it is right here. In his days, Judah shall be saved and Israel shall dwell safely. And this is his name whereby he shall be called the Lord our righteousness. Mic drop right there. Mic drop. Right? The Lord our righteousness. Which is salvation. The promise that makes us heirs. Isaiah 46. 13. This is what we was waiting on. I bring near my righteousness. It shall not be far off. And my salvation shall not tarry. I place. Or I will place salvation. Look y'all. In Zion. For Israel. My glory. Salvation is in Zion. For Israel, my glory. Right? Which we know as Jesus Christ. The Son of God was made manifest for the children of Israel. 
tells you that in the, in the New Testament. Somebody said, where it say that in the New Testament? Luke 2. Luke 2. 25. Let's start. That's what we was waiting on. Our whole city was waiting on it. Our country. And behold, there was a man in Jerusalem. That's our city. That's God's house. Jerusalem, where he put his name forever. Right? Second Chronicles 33 and 4. He put his name in Jerusalem forever. Revelations uh, 312. The name exalted. Jesus Christ. That's what he said. Draw if I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto me. In Jerusalem, he said, in the city of my God. Right? I give you the city of my God and my new name. He said, new Jerusalem and my new name. Because it's in the heavens now, not in the earth. And behold, there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. And the same man was just and devout waiting for the consolation. That's the comforter. Of Israel. Look. For our people and none else and the Holy Ghost was upon him and it was revealed unto him by the Holy Ghost that he should not see death before he had seen the Lord's Christ and the Holy Ghost is Jesus and he came by the Spirit into the temple and when the parents brought the child Jesus to do for him after the custom of the law then took he him up in his arms and blessed God and said, Lord, now let us thy servant depart in peace according to thy word. For my eyes have seen, look, thy salvation. Jesus Christ is the salvation. Which thou hast prepared before the face of all people. Check this out. Drum roll. A light to lighten the Gentiles and the glory. Jesus Christ is the glory. He's the salvation. And he's the glory. He's the kingdom. He's the power. Thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory. That's all Jesus Christ. Of thy people, Israel. And Joseph and his mother marveled at those things which were spoken of him. And Simeon blessed him and said unto Mary, his mother, Behold, this child, Jesus Christ, unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. Government should be upon his shoulders. Right? His name should be called Mighty God, Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. This child, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, is set for the fall and the rising again of many in Israel for a sign which shall be spoken against yeah, the Antichrist. The Antichrist will come to fight against his righteousness. We're going to make a long story short that the wicked fights against uh the Lord's righteousness. Acts 13.10. We did a lot of from Acts today, didn't we? Acts 13. Acts 13.10. Watch this. Acts 13.10. And it says, and it said, O oh, full of subtlety. Should we start up a little more? Uh, we'll start with verse 9. Then Saul, who was also called Paul, remember he fought a good fight, filled with the Holy Ghost. He kept the faith. Right here. The Holy Ghost. Set his eyes on him. And said, O oh, fool of, of all subtlety. And miss you. Thou child of the devil. Like Cain ain't the only one y'all. The whole world. Remember we read that John 7, 7. The works of the world are evil. They the children of the devil. Look. Thou enemy of righteousness. That's who they are. They the enemies of righteousness. Wilt thou not cease to pervert the right ways of the Lord? That's what they doing. They pervert the right ways of the Lord. Now that takes us back to 1 Corinthians 4. We was there earlier. Let's go back. Now you see the differences. Those who don't believe in his mercy. Uh, 2 Corinthians 4. 2 Corinthians 4. They that don't believe in his mercies. Right? Are children of the wickedness. They hate God's righteousness. 2 Corinthians 4 verse 1 Therefore seeing we have this ministry as we have received mercy from the cross right we faint not but have renounced this is what we did we renounced the hidden things of dishonesty not walking in crafty craftiness nor handling the word of God deceitfully don't we see them GMS thanks to the mighty great lion shout out again exposing them you know, Queen of Israel, her video, her videos. Shout out, Queen. 
wonderful job you doing. Uh, and we waiting on the others who are in the body of Christ. Because when you, you're not doing this, that means you're falling short of the glory. That means you have not put on righteousness and holiness. You, the, your fruit, you have no fruit as of yet. Those of you who are not doing nothing. There's a ministry that come out of this. When you have the faith. Paul said, I'm ready to be offered. I fought a good fight. I finished my course. I kept the faith. Look. But have renounced the hidden things of this. Y'all ain't renounced. That's what it is. Y'all still being dishonest. Y'all still being disloyal. Y'all still being unfaithful. Y'all still being unmerciful. Y'all still being ungodly. Huh? Otherwise, you would come forth boldly. You would come forth rejoice with singing, with praise, with love, with the fruit of the Spirit. But you stuck here. Uh, but he said, well, but we have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty. Not walking in craftiness, nor handling the word of God deceitfully. That's what they do. The unrighteous. Right? The border of wickedness. And those who are on Esau's team. Right? But by manifestation of truth, commending ourselves. This is what you do. You, go, you come to the light. Commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of God. That means you come forward. That means you come forward. Everybody else step backwards. You standing out front there. Like you took a step forward. But everybody else on a step backwards. Nah, nah, not me, not me. You supposed to be up there. You supposed to get to a, you supposed to get to the place where like Isaiah said, Yeah, Lord, send me. When he purged your iniquity, he purged Isaiah's iniquity with that coal of fire. Isaiah said, Send me, Lord, send me. When the blood hit you. When the love of God hits you, when the word of God quicken you, that righteousness, <laughs> when you see that righteousness, you be like, yes, Lord, send me. Send me. I'll go, send me. The righteous are what? Bold as a lion. Proverbs 28, 1, bold as a lion. But if our gospel, look, be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. In whom the God of this world had blinded the minds of his righteousness. Of them which believe not, least the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine under them. He don't want you to see that righteousness. That light, the glory. He don't want you to see that. Second Corinthians, let's go back to 11. We, we was there earlier and we didn't finish. 2 and 3. For I am jealous over you with godly jealousy, for I have espoused you, brothled you, engaged you to one husband. That's our God. Brought you back to God. That I may present you as a chaste virgin in Christ. With no sin. That's the fruit, remember? To take away our sins. You learned something from this video. Even though it was a basic video, you learned something. But I fear at least any by any means as a serpent look. Remember, he was subtile. He was subtle. Beguile Eve. That's what he's out to do. Beguile you. Through his subtlety. There it is. Huh? And they used the Bible. And, I, you know, y'all been watching uh, Mighty Great Lions videos. Y'all need to watch them, take notes. Or they be reading that word and just using fables, man. Just twisting it. Throwing in two two entities and all that. We don't even say that. It's the Bible's not even saying what they are saying. They're, they're doing this. What you're reading right here. I fear at least any, by any means as the serpent beguiled. They're, they're children of the devil. We read that. They're enemies of righteousness. They're enemies of the cross. They're, they bear the marks of Cain. Unrighteousness. Cain was of that wicked one. His works were evil. 
They using the word of God deceitfully. We read that. Second Corinthians 4. They have not renounced the hidden things of dishonesty, y'all. They are twisting God's word. They are purposely lying and deceiving. Same with the devil did in the garden. But I fear at least by any means as the serpent, the devil, beguiled Eve through his subtlety. So your mind should be corrupted. And then now there's nothing's pure, right? Every word of God is pure, but they done corrupted you, telling you ain't no letter J. Jesus is not his name. This is what they doing. So your mind should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. The simplicity is, it is written. It is written. It is written. That's the simplicity. And then here come the devil. Telling you, remember, righteousness delivered from death. Righteousness comes through the faith of Jesus Christ. That's what you've learned in this video. That's what you have learned. Right? And righteousness takes away uh, your sin. If you hold it to the end, remember Paul said, I kept the faith. He kept, I'm ready to be offered. He kept it to the end. That's what you take out of this world with you. Right? That's what the devil wants to separate you from. Your faith. Remember, without faith, Hebrews 11 says, it's impossible to please God. He that comes to God must believe that he is, that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. That faith is going to transform you into the image and likeness of Jesus Christ. It's going to raise you up from the dead. With the heart man believeth unto righteousness. With the mouth confession is made unto salvation. You get the whole package. You get the fullness of God in Christ Jesus. Right? You will you escape old creation and enter into new creation. Remember, he all he made all things new. Revelation 21, 5. Right? I mean, it's simple as that. Remember, you create your own heaven or you create your own hell. Which which have you chosen? Or which are you choosing? You created. Remember, he gave you the power to do it. You have the power. You possess the power. It's called your will. You ever heard of will, power? Now, he that is joined to the Lord is one spirit. So your will must line, be joined to the Lord's will. He raises us up. By his will and his resurrection, right? His resurrection in life. He was delivered for our, our uh, let's get that. Transgressions, bruised for our iniquities. Chastised my peace was, is upon him. But by his stripes we're healed. So, uh, Romans 4, 25. Who was delivered for our offenses, right? In the flesh. And raised again for our justification in the spirit. We justified in spirit. Are you living by the spirit of God? God is a spirit. They that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Right? Romans uh, 1. 7. Let's get it. To all that be in Rome, beloved of God, called to be saints. You called to be a saint. Grace. To you and peace from God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ. That's God in the spirit and God's body, the flesh, which you got to inherit. That's what that means. First, I thank my God through Jesus Christ. See, that's all that means. God wants you to acknowledge his son, exalt his son, which is Jesus Christ. And the son leads you to the father. That's all. That's all. But they won. It's the same. But you got to know the man first. That man that died, suffered, bled, right? Gave his life, resurrected from the dead. You get your father in him. He that had the son had the father also, remember? 1 John 3, 22, 23. First, I thank my God through Jesus Christ for you all that your faith 
is spoken of throughout the whole world. For God is my witness, look, whom I serve with my spirit in the gospel of his son, that without season I make mention of you always in my prayers. God whom I serve with my spirit. For God is my witness whom I serve with my spirit in the gospel of his son. Are you serving with your spirit? Well, that's how you uh, offer the sacrifices of righteousness. Uh, Psalms 4 or 5, if we got time, let's get it. Psalms 4 5. It says, offer the sacrifices of righteousness and put your trust in, in the Lord, Jesus. There it is. That's the sacrifices of righteousness. Paul said he was ready to be offered. Time of his departure is at hand. That you, when, what the Father's going to receive, he can't receive you alone by yourself. That's the flesh. He said, offer the sacrifice of righteousness and put your trust in the Lord. What the Father received is, is uh, Ephesians 2.10. Let's go back. He's receiving a new creation. We already read a uh, Ephesians uh, 4.24 putting on righteousness and holiness right that new man created after the image of him that